hey guys welcome back to the channel in previous video we have drawn the front view of this object right now in this video let's draw the top view of this object in top view we know that the two dimension which are visible is length and breadth so length is 115 millimeter and breadth is 50 so if we make a rectangle of 115 by 50 then in that particular rectangle we can draw our top view of the object right so first we draw the rectangle of 115 by 50 or we can take the take the projection from the front view so let's take a projection from the front view let's draw a light li uh, light line and in between these two light line we can draw our rectangle now to draw the horizontal line let's take again the uh, reference and uh, we can draw the parallel line parallel to our reference line using this roller scale so let's say this is my one of the horizontal line and another line i have to mark at distance of 50 millimeter because width of the top view is 50 so let's mark the one point over here another point is over here and let's join the line so this is my rectangle of a given side right so I can fix my top view in in this rectangle because we have taken the maximum dimension now now next task is let's identify the surfaces which are visible in top view right so this is the uh, surface which is visible this wave is also visible in top view and this surface is also visible in top view so this is semicircular shape of or cylindrical shape we can see from the top view next step is whenever there is a circular entity is there right so we have to locate its center line so first of all let's locate the center line so this is the center line that in the that is uh, center line related to the bigger hole so let's take a reference of this edge and draw the center line we can directly project the center line so this is my uh, one center line on this center line the center of my circle is lying similar way we can draw the another center line let's take a reference of this edge and draw the another center line and also at the center we can draw the line of symmetry as well the horizontal center line that also refer as a line of symmetry in this case because our object is symmetric about that axis our object is symmetric about this line so that is also called as a line of symmetry so let's draw that uh, line of symmetry uh, that is exactly lying at the center while viewing from the side view isn't it so width of our object is 50 so which is exactly at center so one of the edge it will be at 25 so let's mark first at 25 distance the horizontal center line uh, and draw the center line while taking the reference draw the center line Now first let's draw this circular entity which are visible in the uh, top view right so this circle is also visible and this circle is also visible and radius of that circle is nothing but 25 so now using compass 25 as a radius and this point is a center draw a semicircle. this is my one semicircle now another point this point is a center draw the another semicircle
in between this two semi circle there is a straight edge that indicates this straight edge is also visible in top view so we have to draw it a darker line or visible line so join this two semi circle with a visible line let's draw this uh, circle first so this two circle we already know the center and uh, radius of this bigger circle is 14 so this is visible in a top of you so let's take 14 millimeter as a radius or one can also mark the uh, radius from the front view as well or one can also take a projection from the front view as well this is the radius let's take a projection so this would be the radius let's mark on this center line now this much as a radius and uh, uh, that point is a center we can draw that uh, circle having 14 radius so this is one of the way let's draw the whole circle having 14 millimeter radius draw the another another circle having the radius 11 let's again take uh, the projection from the front view so this would be my radius of that circle draw the whole circle using compass now the next step we have to locate this wave and this edge right so this wave having the width 10 millimeter we have to locate this edge right so the position of that edge is nothing but from front view we can locate that that is that this is the point let's mark that whole edge using visible line so this is my edge which is visible in top view now we have to draw wave or wave have a dimension equal to 10 millimeter so 5 millimeter from both the side let's mark it two points 5 millimeter on the uh, above the center line and below the center line and draw a parallel line parallel to this center line and at a distance of 10 millimeter again to check the boundary we can also take the projection from the front view right This is my complete top of you, right? Let's re remove the unnecessary part or which we have used as a construction line so that our main object would be little bit uh, darker. let's do the dimensioning first of this top of view so for dimensioning of circular entity we will use a leader line to represent its dimension outside the object so radius of that uh, circle is 14 millimeter so diameter is 28 let's draw the dimension line passing from the center and uh, to represent it, it outside the object we'll use a leader line this is for uh, inside circle and uh, we only represent out outer circle using radius vector and here we will draw a dimension line of a smaller circle having radius 11 passing from the center Make sure while using the leader line, you have to draw or write the dimension horizontally only. And also you have to, uh, it is a good practice to, uh, while dimensioning, you will make a solid arrow 
proportion of length to height equal to 3 is to 1 this dimension is diameter is 28 so 528 and uh, this dimension is 11 millimeter radius so 22 diameter so let's let's first draw the solid arrow and 5 equal to 22 and this radius vector is r25 so this way one can do the dimensioning there are still some dimension are missing we'll come we'll do the remaining dimensioning in in a next video do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video